Hey everybody, it's Kevin Abbott from Barrel of Monks Brewing, and this week on The Perfect Pair, we are at Barrel of Monks Brewing. We are tasting something incredible off of Chef Reed's food truck, our number one go-to food source, uh, always here at the brewery, always kicking out great burgers. Uh, but also people don't know that, I mean, just because he's been on Diners, drive ins and Dives, and featured for his burgers, and it says best burgers, period, on the side of his food truck, uh, I don't think some people know that he has a wider range of different kinds of food. And this week we wanted to feature the chicken pesto sandwich. And this is one of my go to we're I would be joking at my house we're a pesto family my, my six-year-old son won't touch a tomato sauce but he eats pesto sauce almost every day so I love pesto it's one of my favorite things to eat I've had this chicken many this chicken uh, sandwich many many times it's absolutely ridiculously delicious it's decadent the pesto is very unique in the fact that they use a cashew base instead of pine nut makes it kind of a creamier the sauce a little bit creamier I find it be a little bit more rich uh, it's really really great it's paired with like a balsamic uh, reduction uh, glaze that's drizzled on this you know regular you know tomato lettuce uh, kind of thing but also mozzarella cheese and then just you know perfectly cooked nice juicy chicken. Uh, it's a great, great uh, sandwich. And this week I wanted to pair that with a brand new beer for us just released. It's our, it's our Grand Cru this year, the 2024 Grand Cru, which is an Imperial Blondale. For those of you who don't know, our Grand Cru every year is a different beer. It is always going to be a classic style beer uh, done in an imperial way, uh, utilizing just water, malt, yeast, and hops, the four basic ingredients of beer, no adjuncts, and really trying to prove the kind of flavor complexity you can get out of simple ingredients. And it changes every year. This year's uh, Grand Cru, the Imperial uh, Belgian Blonde Ale, is rich has tons of Belgian yeast character and flavor going on in it. And I just thought it would pair really, really well with this pesto sandwich. The main reason being is the pesto is, you know, it's basil pesto, it's herbs, right? Well, there's phenolic and spicy flavors that come off of yeast, especially specifically Belgian yeast, uh, that I think is really going to heighten those flavors and, and, and really pair well with it. There's also uh, fruity esters that come off of this, uh, this beer that I think is going to add to this dish as well. So I think it's going to complement real well. It's also about 8% alcohol, so it's an imperial Belgian blonde. I think that's important because this is a rich pesto sandwich. So. I'm going to dig into this thing and see if we've made a good pairing here. Press the palate with a little bit of the beer. Love pesto. Because of the creaminess of the mozzarella cheese. Yeah, that, there's a natural Belgian yeast flavor in here. With, I think it leans a little bit more estery. And you're getting that banana. I'm actually getting some pineapple off this, which is really interesting. That is really heightened by this. The contrast of the herbaceousness of this dish with the fruitiness of this dish just really it makes the Belgian aspect of this beer, if I can say it that way, come off even more. It heightens that yeast flavor. Mm. With that, but I got a little more of the pesto in there and absolutely does heighten the flavors of the pesto itself. Uh, basil pops more, the richness, even the earthiness of the olive oil comes out even more being supported by the phenols in this yeast strain. And so importantly, at 8%, the richness of this goes with the richness of this. So it refreshes the palate really, really well. This is a dynamite pairing. Uh, chicken pesto sandwich is on Chef's menu every single day. You can come and get it anytime. The Grand Cru is on draft right now. We've got bottle of, bottles available. It's not going to be around forever. It is a yearly release as we do it in limited quantities. So I highly suggest if you're interested in this pairing, come in soon. Uh, try these two things together. Tell us what you think. Do you think this is a good pairing or not? I think it really, really works. I, I love these two things together. I'm thinking other beers that could pair well with it. Also, I think a triple could go pretty well with this chicken pesto sandwich for a lot of the same reasons. Yeah, and even a double, I think, could, could, could work here. But 
Go with the ground crew uh, if you come in, in the, anytime soon. Get the chicken pesto sandwich. Thank you guys for stopping in with us. We'll see you next week on The Perfect Pair. Cheers.